be interesting to see how that uh, division, which is not expected to be competitive, how that is going to affect the Buccaneers. Because when they won it, they really had to grind that last half of the season, get on a winning streak going into the postseason. If they win that division by several games, could change things up. Let's go to another division that might not be that competitive, but the Vikings have something to say about that. The Packers. Aaron Rodgers, back-to-back -back MVP, but still has not been able to get this team to the Super Bowl. They have only won it once behind Rodgers. Why will they be unable to do it again? Well, you know, Aaron Rodgers has been fantastic, back-to-back -back MVP, one of the better quarterbacks of his era, but who is he going to be throwing to this year? That's the big question. He can be as great as he wants, but if there's nobody there that can get open, that's, again, going to hurt the Packers' offense. You lose a guy like Devontae Adams, I don't think that's something that we can just say, oh, well, they have Aaron Rodgers, they'll figure it out. And Devontae Adams had 600, over 600 targets over the last four years. They got to go to somebody. They have Christian Watson, who they drafted at the NFL Draft a few months, few weeks ago. That's a guy that could be in line for a bulk of those targets, but you're putting a lot of faith in a rookie to really ascend to be that level of a target for Aaron Rodgers. And speaking of Rodgers, we don't really know what it's going to look like in the playoffs for him. You know, if you take away that Super Bowl run a few, you know, now it's more than a few years ago, over a decade ago, he hasn't been an elite quarterback in the playoffs. He's under 500, seven and 10 when you take away that Super Bowl run. Again, credit to him for winning that one, but since then, hasn't really been able to get over the hump. So then when you're looking at an offense now that loses a big weapon like Devontae Adams, it's going to make the road that much more difficult for Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. And then finally, special teams. They hired a new special teams coordinator this offseason, but that has been their Achilles heel, really dating back to 2016. Since then till now, they have been either at the bottom of the league or the bottom half of the league in special teams efficiency. You start in that loss in the postseason this past year, it's been a killer for them. If they don't improve that with this coaching change, well then again, they're not going much farther than, than where they've already been. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.